Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to transfer data up to 100 megabytes from an old Macintosh SE to a modern Mac. I will also show you how to retrieve data from a 800k floppy to a modern Mac. I have seen some ridiculous videos on YouTube involving 3 to 5 computers, even PCs for this purpose. All you need is a Macintosh SE or any 68k Macintosh with a functioning 800k floppy drive, a SCSI Macintosh ZIP100 drive, and a Power Mac G4 with a ZIP100 drive. Sadly, 800k floppies do not work on USB 1.4 megabyte floppy drives, even when these are connected to Macs. The only way to read or write 800k discs is through a vintage 68k Macintosh with a functioning floppy drive. Here are some examples of 1.4 megabyte floppies and 800k floppy disks. The disk with only one hole is the 800k floppy and the other one with two holes is 1.4 megabyte floppy. On the far left there is a 100 megabyte zip disk. Now I will demonstrate how to retrieve all the content from an 800k floppy to a modern Mac. It is quite simple. Let's say that I have one or more 800k floppy that I need to copy the data from. All I have to do is copy the data to my ZIP100 disk. It takes several minutes just to copy 800k. Makes you appreciate today's technology where it takes less than a second today to copy one megabyte of data to a USB stick or to our hard disk. All I am doing here is copy all the content of the 800k floppy directly to my ZIP100 disk. Next, when I am done copying the data from one or more 800k floppies, I will shut down the Macintosh SE, eject the ZIP100 disk. Now that I have all the data I need copied from my 800k floppies to my ZIP100 disk, I can go to my Power Mac G4 with the internal ZIP100 drive, running Mac OS 9.2. You will soon see how easy it is to retrieve all the data I copied on the ZIP100 disk. I can run the HyperCard app now I can copy the data from my ZIP100 disk to my hard drive, and I can even burn the data to a CD or DVD. I could also copy the data to a USB stick if I wanted to. It's that simple.
How about doing the opposite? What if I want to copy several apps from my Power Mac G4 to run to my good 30-year-old Macintosh SE? It's very simple. Again, all I need to do is put a ZIP100 disk in the internal ZIP drive of my good old Power Mac G4 running Mac OS 9.2. Find the data I want to copy, and just drag the data to my ZIP100 disk. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Okay, I can imagine, this time-consuming process can bore you to death. Maybe if you hear a joke it will take the edge off. Unfortunately I am not good with jokes because I always forget the punchline, but my good old friend here know many jokes. Let me ask her to tell you a joke. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why do elephants paint their toenails red? To hide in cherry trees. Oh dear. Alexa, tell me a joke. I don't trust people with graph paper. They're always plotting something. Ha ha, good one. Alexa, tell me another joke. Why are ghosts bad liars? Because you can see right through them. I think I heard that one before. Okay, thank you Alexa. No more jokes for today. Okay, now I am almost done copying the data I want to move from my Power Mac G4 running Mac OS 9.2 to my good old Macintosh SE. All I have to do now is eject the ZIP100 disk, shut down my Power Mac G4 and use the disk on my Macintosh SE. Very easy. I got my Macintosh SE running, and placed the ZIP100 disk on the external ZIP100 SCSI drive. To save time, I will not show each and every app that I copied from my Power Mac G4 to the ZIP100 disk. I will however demonstrate one of them. I will randomly pick Super Paint, one of the apps that I copied earlier, and try to run it on the Macintosh SE. Bingo! All went well. It was a great success, and with a minimum amount of hustle. Lovely, jovely. If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac OS High Sierra. You can also check my Bootcamp playlist. There are many videos on how to install Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 on a Macintosh. Check it out. A to Macintosh YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and viewing.